Welcome to Twisted News, where we get you up to date on some of the most insane true crime stories currently happening all around the world. I'm Andrew. I want to thank you for tuning in. And today, we're featuring a decades-old multiverse mystery that recently got an update. It's about a man who showed up in Japan from a country that doesn't even exist here on Earth. Following that, we have a story that isn't getting nearly enough coverage. It's about the Google founder, Larry Page, and how he's been missing for several months now. Get ready for Scary Mysteries, Twisted News. Number one, Parallel Universe Man in Japan. This first one you may have heard about before, but recently there's been some updates that you may not know about but need to hear. This is a perplexing story that blends elements of conspiracy, travel, and potential otherworldly phenomena. A tale that has become a favorite amongst enthusiasts of mystery and intrigue, creating divisions between skeptics and believers, the debunkers and theorists. Our story today revolves around an event that took place in the bustling city of Tokyo back in 1954. July of that year, at Haneda Airport, a plane from an undisclosed location landed safely and began to disgorge its passengers. Among them was a man who would soon become the focus of an enduring mystery. Donning a business suit and sporting a beard, this Caucasian gentleman communicated primarily in French, but seemed fluent in multiple languages, including Japanese. His identity would soon stir the curiosity, suspicion, and fear of airport authorities. Because when questioned by the customs officer, he claimed that he hailed from a country named Torrid. A country that, according to all known geographical data and records at the time, and even now, simply does not exist. Despite the seemingly ludicrous nature of his claim, his passport appeared authentic and was issued from the supposed nation of Torrid. A well-traveled man, his passport bore the stamps of many countries, further adding to the perplexity of the situation. Trying to resolve the issue, the officers offered him a world map to indicate the location of his home country. Instantly, he pointed at Andorra, with a sense of unwavering confidence, claiming it to be Torrid. This insistence and his genuine bafflement at the country being labeled as Andorra sparked deeper confusion and suspicion among the authorities. A deeper investigation of his backstory led to dead ends and inconsistencies. The company he claimed to work for existed, but there was no record of any office or branch in the supposed country of Torrid. The hotel where he had reportedly booked a room had no reservation under his name either. In light of the discrepancies, the man was held in a guarded hotel room for further investigation. Strangely, however, by the next morning, the man, along with his perplexing documents, had vanished, leaving no trace of his existence. His disappearance from a high-rise room guarded around the clock remained an enigma to this day. Theories began to circulate. Was he a time traveler who had somehow made an error in his journey? Or did he originate from a parallel universe where Torrid existed, but it ended up in our reality by accident? The truth, however, seemed to be less fantastical, yet equally fascinating. In a comprehensive article recently published by Snopes.com founder David Mickelson, shared findings that shed light on the mysterious man from Torrid. He claimed that the incident did take place, but this man was actually a fraudster named John Allen Kucher Zegris. According to Mickelson, Zegris was a 36-year-old man who had been prosecuted in Tokyo for using a forged passport to travel the world. He had claimed to be an intelligence agent for one Colonel Nasser and a naturalized Ethiopian, his passport, purportedly issued by the capital of Torrid, Temenrasset, was as fake as the country itself. The proclamation and the language he used were also concoctions of his own creation. Ultimately, this story came to an end in 1961 when Zegris was sentenced to a year in prison by the Tokyo District Court for illegally entering Japan and passing fake checks. 
His wife was repatriated to South Korea. The tale shrouded in mystery and intrigue will always be compelling, as we tend to enjoy the thrill of speculation and theorizing. And as much as it would be fun if this story actually came from a multiverse, it's crucial to sift through the sensationalism and strive to uncover the truth. Number 2. Larry Page, Google Founder Missing The horrifying underground case of human trafficking involving Jeffrey Epstein has been going around for quite some time now, and the internet isn't done scrutinizing it, as well as the controversies that are continually being exposed to the public eye. One of the people being caught up in the controversy now is the co-founder of Google himself, Larry Page, because since April 11th, Larry apparently vanished off the face of the earth and no one knows where to find him. Before his sudden and mysterious disappearance, Page found himself in the crosshairs of the government of the U.S. Virgin Islands. The USVI had been attempting to serve Page with a subpoena in relation to a civil lawsuit against J.P. Morgan Chase, which is the largest bank in the entire world. The problem was, Page seemed to have disappeared in thin air. The authorities had a short list of four possible addresses, but every lead turned out to be a dead end. The lawsuit in question takes us deeper into the murky depths of Epstein's macabre empire. Allegedly, J.P. Morgan Chase had unsavory ties with Epstein's human trafficking operation. The bank stands accused of serving as an enabler of this reprehensible enterprise by handling Epstein's finances, despite the taint of illegality that clung to him. It's further alleged that J.P. Morgan played a role in processing payments to Epstein's victims and their recruiters, and that it even profited from these deplorable transactions. So then, how does Page fit into this chilling narrative? Prosecutors speculate that Epstein may have referred or attempted to refer Page to J.P. Morgan. The subpoena aims to compel Page to produce any documents that could serve as evidence of the bank's alleged connection to Epstein's sex trafficking ring. This could include any communication about J.P. Morgan shared between Page and Epstein, dating back to as far as 2002. Furthermore, any financial transactions between the two that could potentially be linked to the human trafficking operation may be required to be presented in court. And Page isn't the only high-profile figure ensnared in this scandal. Sergey Brin, another co-founder of Google, Michael Ovitz, a former Disney exec, Thomas Pritzker, executive chairman of Hyatt Hotels, and billionaire real estate investor Mort Zuckerman, have also been served similar subpoenas. It's a story that might seem familiar from the plots of countless movies and TV series where the rich and powerful often seem to evade justice, but this isn't fiction. It's a grim reality that has cast a long dark shadow over countless lives. This case concerning Epstein's massive human trafficking operation is not something that can be swept under the rug and it's crucial that we get to the bottom of it for the sake of the victims and to ensure that such horrifying enterprises are exposed and dismantled. So will Larry Page reemerge from the shadows, or will his mysterious disappearance add another layer to this already strange saga? Only time will tell, but we'll be here to make sure to keep you posted on any updates. So there were two of the most bizarre and terrifying news stories that we have for you today. If you're enjoying our episodes, please do subscribe to help our channel grow. And for even more exclusive content that's too hot for YouTube and additional perks, go check out our Patreon page at patreon.com scarymysteries. Thanks for tuning in today. We'll see you in the next one.